Hello, and welcome to this short video on Cummins Air-Cooled Generator Set Installation. The objective of this video is to provide examples for configuration of the electronic control of the generator set. This video covers C13 through C20 N6H product models. Installation steps for the generator set are found in the installation manual and the Quick Start installation guide that can be found on QuickServe Online. Note that this video is not a substitute for the information found in these documents. Refer to these documents before attempting to start a generator set installation for all required safety and compliance information and the complete procedures. With the physical connections completed for the generator set installation, the final step is to supply battery power to the control and configure it to the customer's specifications. First, connect the generator set battery and replace all panels. Push any key on the front screen, also known as the HMI, to wake up the control. The first screen will show that the control is establishing communication while the system boots up. The clock setup screen automatically appears after the control is turned on for the first time. Use the keys marked with arrows to change the highlighted number, and use the key marked Next to select the next parameter that can be changed. The next screen is Daylight Savings, where you can enable or disable the Daylight Savings calendar. The offset setting is the number of minutes to be added at the Adjust Start Date. An important setting for the control during installation is to set up the exercise schedule according to the customer's needs. Select the menu key and use the arrow keys to highlight Exercise. The first setting on the exercise menu is Crank Exercise, which only cranks the engine without fueling when it is enabled. This setting should always be set to Disabled if it is found to be enabled. Next, select the generator set exercise time. This is how long the generator set will run during exercise periods. It can be set between 1 and 20 minutes. Pushing the Next key brings up the Exercise Schedule menu, where you set up how often to exercise the generator set and at what time of day. Note that if you enable the Exercise Now feature, the generator set will attempt to start and run for the exercise time that was selected. When all settings are complete, push the back key until you return to the main screen. This will save all of the changes you have made. The mode menu will allow you to change the control to operate in standby mode. If standby is set to enabled, the generator set will start and run in the event of a utility power failure. Standby should be enabled on any installation with an automatic transfer switch with a remote start capability. Also on this screen is the option to enable or disable remote mode. If remote is set to enabled, the control will be able to take remote commands from a remote HMI, the remote monitoring web page, or the remote monitoring phone app. If any of these features are used, set remote to enabled. Once all of the desired settings have been made for the installation, start and run the generator set to verify the installation. If you start the generator set in manual mode with its breaker closed, the ATS will automatically transfer off of utility power and onto generator set power. This would allow the test to be done using building loads. However, if you want to make the test run without transferring off of utility power, switch the generator set breaker to the off or open position. Finally, after a successful test run, Return the control back to standby enabled mode and make sure the generator set breaker is in the closed or on position. If you have any questions or are unsure about any of the installation steps, call 1-800-Cummins for factory assistance.